For seven first alert weather. We've really got a lot going on in the weather world today. I'm sure you started out the day looking outside and thinking, wow, it's really smoky out there because we did see a lot of those higher concentrations of smoke, especially towards western Idaho, but we still saw it over in central Idaho as well in the central mountains. You can see in the early afternoon hours that the smoke was a lot more prominent, but then as we go into the later afternoon hours, you can see a little bit of clearing because of some of those storms moving through there, the rain falling through the atmosphere can remove some of that smoke and deposit it at the surface. And so we have been tracking some afternoon thunderstorms today. You can see it's starting to clear up a little bit for some spots you can see drying out towards Twin Falls. And then as we look towards the central mountains, as I mentioned, a lot of that lightning staying to the north of Sun Valley for right now, a little bit more moving through the McCall Cascade area and some storms still active in eastern uh, Oregon and moving towards the north. So likely McCall will get a glancing blow from that as well. However, it is the tip of the hurricane, shall we say, instead of the tip of the iceberg, because that moisture is tropical in origin, and a lot of it is streaming northward. The monsoonal moisture is seeing a little bit we're seeing it a little bit earlier than we initially anticipated. So this is Hurricane Hillary spinning off the coast, has not made landfall yet. You can see an additional low pressure center that is not the hurricane there, but Hil Hurricane Hillary is now category two storm and expected to make landfall tomorrow night. And it is expected to make landfall in California specifically as a tropical storm. So it's expected to continue to weaken. And so that's why the tropical storm warning is in place there. And for our area, you can see there is a flood watch and even high wind warning warnings for some areas, including southeastern Idaho. So this is the area in yellow, the high wind warning, because they could see gusts of up to 60 miles an hour and a flood watch as well for much of western Idaho and also eastern Oregon, because we could see some potential flooding creeks, steep terrain and burn scars may flood quickly. So as we sum up the risk uh, for tomorrow specifically, it's going to be a multi day event. So specifically for tomorrow, the wind is not really a factor going to be the flooding for the most part that we're looking at mainly in those higher elevation spots. So let's look at this in a couple different ways. The most detailed one and high resolution one will look at this way. So you can see those storm chances for tonight continue to move northward and end in the overnight hours. However, in the early morning hours, we start to see some more of that rainfall start to come through from the hurricane. So mainly for the mountains, this is going to be a heavy rainfall event. And again, we're tracking the possibility of flash flooding, and maybe even some debris getting loose or debris flow at that time. So the central mountains will see some of that highest risk tomorrow. And then we get two separate waves of this moisture, the other one coming overnight on from Sunday into Monday. And so you can track that moisture moving all the way northward as that storm makes landfall in California and continues to move north. There's the bulk of that second wave that we're expecting. And so for now, it's expecting that heavier bit of moisture is expecting to be towards the west of us and in to eastern Oregon. So that's the heaviest line of storms that we are tracking, heaviest bit of moisture. And so as we look at the totals, you can see that there will be one especially heavy band for tomorrow, I, I'm, excuse me, through Tuesday, but that heavy band could move. And so overall, if we're looking at this as a whole picture, we will continue to be tracking that, but mainly the mountains will be seeing the highest rain totals. So definitely something to watch and the possibility of flash flooding for Boise. Here's your seven day forecast. We start to see some of those showers a little bit later on Sunday than the morning hours, but a stormy forecast multi-day event is ahead for us, Shira. All right, thanks, Sophia.